Can somebody please take that hairpiece off of Cyrus's head? Thank you. Scandal! We kick off Scandal with Jake and Olivia in the park running. They're, they're a fit couple. They're a fit couple. Um, That's good. They're running. They're talking about with their arrangement. He got him a new place. She's like, you don't need to go nowhere. This is my thing. If I'm Jake, I'm staying with Olivia. I'm saving all of my money. We can stay there with her and eat popcorn and wine because that's... So all she has in her house. Do y'all do ever notice that? It's only wine and popcorn in the house, man. Like, is that low carb? Or like, how, how does your mind stay sharp with that type of diet? But anyway, we end up cutting to Cyrus, who's wearing a David Hasselhoff hairpiece. He asks Olivia for a favor. She flies out to go see this um, famous couple whose relationship signifies gun control because the wife got paralyzed for, like, being a very... Strong heroin when there was a school shooting, though, which is a very admirable thing. Before I say anything else, I just want to I just want to be real, okay? There is nothing funny about getting shot in the spine and being paralyzed, okay? This is only TV show, y'all, okay? There's nothing funny about that in real life or on TV, okay? At all. Here's what made me laugh, though. I'm thinking when she went into that house that she was going to see like some kind of crime scene. It's old girl like throwing stuff at this dude, like she going. At, is she moving around? She. Wait, what? 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 what, what you finna what? And then this dude up here playing defense. <laughs> wheelchair or not, if you throwing stuff to hurt me, point blank, period, I'm knocking the wheelchair over. Unless you, Professor X, I ain't finna be afraid of you. Rolling around this house terrorizing me, period, I'm knocking the wheelchair over. Abby is just struggling, man. Do, do y'all get that vibe? Like, every time I see her in a scene, the first thing I think about is, where's Olivia? And I think that's what they're going with it, too, man. I like the friction between those two. I don't think they're going to fight, though. I, I hope they don't fight and like that. But I love seeing her character develop, become stronger, more aggressive. I like that, though, because last season, I just called her the chick from Wendy's, basically. Um, I believe she's still dating that guy, Dave. Dave is my guy, too, man. This boy up here, you know, they... He was about to be knocked out of this race, man, but he fought back and got in and stayed with it, man. Gladiator style. That's good. Good for David. A.K.A. Where's Waldo? Because of the Where's Waldo glasses. Hey, hashtag Where's Waldo for David, man. Can we get that going, y'all? Where's Look at them glasses, though, man. Like, Where's Waldo? That's my guy. Where's Waldo and Wendy? Match made in heaven. I can't explain Huck and Quinn. I... They've had a lot of nasty sex on here, y'all. I I can't even explain it. Millie is still beside herself in front and behind herself right now. She's going through it. Um, I don't know what Abby was doing in there, but I personally was getting ready to watch this girl fail at trying to get her to go to this thing, though. But lo and behold, the speech that she probably found in Olivia's jacket pocket was able to get Millie to show up to this event which made everything pop. It was good. I know I skipped over some parts though, but like, you know, it's just, I, I don't want to make the video too long. Do you guys want long videos? Let me know in the comment section below real quick though. That's just a random thing in there. If you guys want longer videos, I can make them longer. But if you want to keep them short, I keep them short too, no problem. Olivia went over to this man's house in nothing but some trench coats and boots. Dog. When I seen them go at it, I was like, oh my goodness, wait a minute. It's about to, whoo, hold up. And then they went to Cyrus's love scene. I'm not homophobic at all. It's just, um, with my last 60 seconds of Scandal, I'm used to seeing, you know, Scandal. I don't want to see him with no shirt on. And Lord, let us please continue to pray for Millie Fitz as she continues to go through bereavement and going through her healing process. Amen. I have gone ahead, uh, I've already started the petition to go ahead and send a fish plate every day to her house in honor of her mourning her son. She, she needs to eat y'all. Um, fried chicken is good though, but you got, you got to balance it out, man. I love chicken myself though, but throw some fish in there. Little tilapia, ain't gonna hurt nobody. It's good for your mind. Let's go ahead and start the petition up right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be real. This episode was kind of, it was cool, but then it, not really. Like, I don't know. It was good though. What do you guys think? Uh, one of my uh, subscribers put in the last video that they felt the premiere was kind of lackluster. 
Did you guys feel this video, this episode was like lackluster? Do you feel it gave you everything you needed? Or are you already watching How to Get Away with Murder? You kind of, like, whatever. By the way, too, I watched that show. Pretty good show. Would y'all want me to review that show? Because I, I watched it. It's pretty cool, too. You know, Shonda Rhimes is a pretty good writer. If you like me to review that show, let me know in the comment section below. If I can get enough people that say, hey, yeah, we love to see it. I will definitely review it. But as far as scandal goes, that's pretty much it. My name is Shinadu, C-H-I-N-E-D-U, and this is PSA Radio. Please do me a favor and please click that like button and the share button. Um, oh, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I hope you've subscribed already. Have you subscribed? I'll give you a second. You subscribe? All right, great. Thank you for your time.